Welcome back to the second channel guys. Today we're going to be doing an air gun video and we're going to be doing a test. Maybe a myth, but we're not exactly sure if it's a myth or not. It may be actually true. We're going to be testing what is it like to shoot a pellet straight out of the gun, just like it's supposed to be to where, you know, it's going this way. And then we're also going to try to shoot pellets backwards. Now, what we've heard is that when if you turn them backwards, it'll actually do more damage, more expansion to kill a lot better because it's like a hollow point in there. But you know what? That's what we're going to test today. We're going to test it with both accurate to see if it does work is it even worth having if it can't hit a target can't hold a group it ain't worth having then we're going to try the actual damage potential into this ballistics gel if you don't know ballistics gel is a rubbery substance that simulates flesh we should be able to see and compare the penetration and expansion whenever one of each pellet goes in first thing we're going to do though accuracy because if it can't hold a group and if it can't hit a squirrel head it doesn't matter if it's more damage or not we'll shoot three the straight way three the backwards way what do you think squad i don't know because this is kind of something i've always heard growing up and kind of just developed trying it myself never actually shot anything with them so anxious to see i'm gonna be bringing out my shooting rest thing so that we can't say the accuracy is me if one shoots good and one shoots bad it's because one shoots good and one shoots bad it's not because of me i'm mm -hmm. gonna send down those first three the correct way here we go okay All right, now we're gonna be sticking them in backwards. And if you guys still haven't really figured out what we mean by that, come on over and I'll show you. So like we were saying, the correct way is to stick it in point first, the way it's supposed to, and to shoot it backwards, we literally just turn it around and uh, we kind of make it go in the incorrect way. And it's kind of hard to do because they're not made to go in backwards. All right, that's what we mean right there. Check that out. It's, uh, it's a lot different, but we'll see what it can do. That hit a lot harder, I know that. Now if it can hold a group, we may be onto something. All right, let's go look at it. Accuracy wise, here is it on the uh, the normal one. That's one hole right there, and then three that's all practically touching each other. Pretty small holes though. Over here is the reverse bullet. Not a bad group that can definitely still kill a squirrel if I'd side it into that, and it leaves a lot bigger hole. One thing that are, is interesting is look, three of them hit gel, and all three of them went through the inch and busted out the back side, so. I think it did. Oh no, it didn't. Wow. You know what? I'm seeing some pretty uh, crazy results right here. I'm gonna save this to later. All right, this is pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and shoot into the jail. I will say it is working just as people said it would. I'm not saying that's lying. I just never seen it for myself. Here we go. We're gonna send one straight into the jail the correct way, and we're looking for two different kinds of results. One, we're looking for penetration. Is it gonna go in two inches or is it gonna go in five inches? And two, what happens when it goes in? Does it hold its shape small or does it really expand and open up and tear up a lot of meat once it gets inside? Here we go. That one, just a good little thug. And now we're putting them in backwards. Now, before I shoot this one, I want to tell you guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe because we have a lot more videos just like this, including this one, where we tested a bunch of different pellets accuracy. And now we're out here doing this video. So if you like air guns or anything like that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for us. It definitely sounded like it opened up the bigger hole, but once again, I don't really know. As we walk up, we're most likely going to need a knife. And for that knife, we have the KG pocket knife. If you're a fan of the channel, you've probably heard of this before. But if not, if you want to buy anything from Kendall Gray, want to come slash shop, like this hoodie right here. This is the Black Bear hoodie or even this knife or any of the hundreds of colors it comes in. Go to Kendall Gray, want to come slash shop and use promo code AIRGUN10, all caps, and that'll get you 10% off whatever you want. All right, here we go. Let's look at the penetration. Looking at it, right here is the two holes. Pretty similar holes, not a big difference. As we go in, penetration is a big deal. All right, the one that was put in correctly went all the way through the six inch block. So straight through it, we don't even know what it looks like because it went through it. We may try another test and see what they do after it has to go through something hard, like maybe a groundhog skull. Or in today's test, a packet. But yeah, the first one that we put in correctly, all the way through, no questions asked. However, the one that was put in back did not have no questions asked and appears to not have penetrated but one and a half inches. Did it do more damage in that one and a half inches than the bigger pellet did in six? That's the question. That's the question. Check this out. That thing flattened right out, dude. That thing flattened out really nice. Really nice, dude. Compared to what the other pellets do, Here's the one that I saw earlier. Once again, it flattened out really nice. Now, I can tell you right now, no, that's not going to penetrate as far, but we'll, 
but how much damage will it do in the little bit it does penetrate? Quite a bit. About twice the damage of a normal one. Right, because it's twice the big, big, big or whatever. I don't know, but now we're going to shoot through this. Same exact thing, shoot through it, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. What do you think they're going to do after they have to go through something hard? I think it's going to open up just as good. I don't know how far it's going to penetrate, but... I think it'll open up, but if it can't make it to the jail, it won't be of any use. All right, here we go. Through paper. Here we go. <laughs> Going in backwards. My prediction, which uh, I want to hear your predictions too in the comments, but my prediction is that uh, I think it's going to flatten out, transfer too much energy to too much of the paper and uh, not really make it in too far, if any. I don't know if it's gonna make it through the paper. That definitely hit jail. Yeah. All right, let's see what the damages are. Turning it over, I believe everything did go through. Question is how much? Question is how much and what did it do? Oh, I see, okay. What is this? What is that, is that a pellet? I don't know. I was wondering. A lot of paper. I don't even know where that came from. Um, looks like these are the two that we're working with, though. Even after it went through the paper, still went in very deep. Uh, didn't really deform. Okay. Like maybe it did, but mm, honestly, that's not enough to really count in my book, at least. Mm -mm. Now let's go in deep and see what we can come up with. A backwards pellet. I'm hoping the paper didn't clog it. I mean, if it did, that's just part of it. Because fur's going to clog it, too, if you're trying to go after something like that. Noticeable penetration difference. This one went 20% the distance that one did. And checking it out, a lot less, less amazing expansion. Just, uh, kind of just didn't really get much wider this time. Other times it got wider. This time it really just didn't get any wider compared to that one. Big difference. So, here's another thing that we have to take into account. What if the expansion's good, but the expansion is inconsistent? Because at that point, it didn't expand any more than the regular one, and it didn't penetrate nearly as much. But the time before that, it still didn't penetrate, but it expanded twice the size. Maybe there's just an inconsistency in expansion, which is really important. What do you think? I think we uh, kind of busted a myth. In what way? Is it worth doing or is it not? I think it is. You think it is worth doing? I think it is. Because, I mean, you're not having to pay any extra to do it. But are you getting as much consistent penetration and expansion? You're usually getting more. I mean, I feel like it's a toss-up, but yeah. We definitely proved that accuracy wasn't a problem. Right. I mean, it doubled the size, but if you're shooting tight grips, it doesn't matter. So I feel like on soft targets, it's the way to go. Comment below if you've ever did this. And if you did, did you like it? Did it work? Are you going to do it again? Click right over here if you want to see the time where we tested the pellets to see their accuracy, or right over here for the time where we tested the same pellets to see what the different shapes and points did in some gel. And click right here to subscribe if you're not already. That's actually really important. Okay, bye.